How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review and it is American Barley Wine time in the form of San Adams Griffin's Bow. Um, aged Barley Wine time actually is this is a 2012 bottle I've been told. Um, I don't see any kind of date code on this. I see a little bit of coating on the bottom but I don't really see any kind of discernible date to get off of that but uh, from some oh wait up top here we have something let's see it before I can't really make it out anyway it doesn't really matter because the place where I got this is um, they're really on top of their beers um, local restaurant to me called Arantz um, fantastic restaurant great food um, great beer great people if you're ever in northeastern Pennsylvania you want good food good beer Arantz Derry Pennsylvania go there anyway um, I got picked it up from there because um, they stopped by to uh, try something they had in draft. Just figured might as well pick it up because it's probably not something I'm going to see ever again since I've never seen it before. Um, there you go. Uh, as far as what it says in a bottle, uh, Sam Adams up top. Recycling information. Sam Adams Griffin's Bow. Oaked Blonde Barley Wine Ale. So it's an Oaked Blonde American Barley Wine Ale. 10% alcohol by volume. Um... To enjoy now or age it further develop or unique flavors over here government warning stuff and then it says malts two row harrington i can't read half of the stuff something and copeland pale malts and paul's caramel special process age on toasted oak uh, hops nelson hops from new zealand and zeus hops and then that's it um Label wise, it's almost label and bottle wise. Really nice. Um, super classic, super um, classy um, from, you know, band to the front. There's a little bit on the back I'll read after this. And then the, the bottle's etched. You know what I mean? Everything about it is pretty badass. Uh, as far as what it says on the back, uh, it says deep golden, bold, and vibrant. From the aroma and notes of sweet honeysuckle, pineapple, and grapefruit to richer hints of burnt sugar and toffee, this intriguing, intriguing, Excuse me. Brew is full of complex flavors. The distinct character of toasted oak adds depth and contrast to light fruit sweetness. This unique take on a barley wine ale surprises with its smoothness and balance of fruit, hop, citrus, and warmth. At Sam Adams, we love experimenting. This series limited edition brews represent some of her favorite small batch creations. Batch number two. So there you go. Um, Label-wise, bottle-wise, everything about it, I dig it. I love barley wines. Americans get a little bit wonky. Sam Adams, you know, they're hit or miss. They make some fantastic beers. I feel they get a pretty bad rap a lot of times, but some of their beers are quite well. They're, they're quite well done. Um, obviously, Utopia, so they're double box, they're old school chocolate box, stuff like that. Hopefully, this is one of the winners. So, let's see what this sucker has to offer. The blonde oaked barley wine aspect of it is kind of intriguing, so we'll see what's happening with this. That is blonde. Let's see if we can get this head to settle down a bit. It looks like it wants to take off on me. And that's good enough to get through it. So there you go. Um, first off, infinitely creamy. To the point where you can actually see it probably on camera to where it's like tilting. It's so dense and so creamy that it's not even following gravity at this point. Um, super creamy top. The head itself internally is creamy there's like big bubbles here and there but other than that it's so microscopic it's almost like super foam um as far as color i mean that's straight up sex in the glass right there it's this golden super dense hazy beautifulness it's like a mixture of, it's a yellow with a dash of orange a touch of brown with this unfiltered viscous beautifulness with tiniest bit of carbonation but you know if you roll that suck around you still have your beautiful um, micro bubbles right below the head there. So yeah, the sucker looks the part. Let's see if she smells the part. <sighs> There's a nose there. <laughs> That's so generic. It smells aged, um, not in like an oxidated way either. It's like um, just smells like very super balanced it smells like there's a little bit of hops there a little bit of malt there a little bit of citrus a little bit of everything but they're so in harmony that it just smells like a singular note as opposed to a bunch of individual notes 
Yeah. I even smell honey. You know? It's like very... There's a lot of stuff going on, but everything that's going on is quite subtle. Yeah. And a little bit of... like Almost like a Belgian-style yeastiness to it. Yeah. It smells pretty damn good. Hopefully it is good. I'm going to dive right in. Cheers. Well, I'm going to tell you what. If you've watched, you'd, ha you'd have to watch pretty much all my reviews to kind of get this thing, but every now and then I come across a beer and I talk about how scary it is. There's a list of them. Um, Sammy Claus is on it. Beezlebub is on it. Um, there's a couple other ones on it. I forget because they're that scary. There are beers out there. I call them roofies in a glass um, that are so easily drinkable and, but yet high ABV that you, they really should be handled with care of come up with like a warning label on them. This makes the cut because it's so infinitely drinkable it's not even funny. You can get the oak, but it's so soft. You get, like, even, like I said, a little bit of honey there, but it's super soft. You get that multiple malt backbone, but it's so subtle. You get a bit of hop there, a bit of citrus. You can really know pine yeast was there, but a little bit of citrus. Almost like lemon zest as opposed to, like, an orange or a grapefruit. But it's super gentle. Everything about it is gentle. It's like one of the most delicate beers I've had. Now, did age do that? You know, 2012, this is early 2015. You're talking about, you know, a two and a half to three year old beer. I'm sure it helped along the way. But this is, it says on the back, deep, golden, bold, and vibrant. It's deep, golden. It's not bold. It's vibrant in the sense that it's, be, it's it's very uplifting and bright, but I mean this is super delicate, super gentle stuff, super scary because it's ten percent, and you can hand this to somebody who's never had beer before, and they'd be like, "Oh, that's pretty good," and they'd pound them. You do funnels of this, and you'd be good to go. Well, good to go to the hospital, but you get my drift. Hmm. I like it. I really like it. I mean, it's not, you know, sometimes I, I want a beer to be, have more to it. And I do like my barley wines to be very, you know, rough and tough. You know, like them bold, like them big, like them with a bit of, you know, meat on their bones. But um, this one just speaks to me. It's beautiful. Beautiful beer. Rating wise, I'm going to give it a 92. I just like it, man. It's just the way it is, you know. It's just, for what it is, it's a beautiful beer. 92 overall again i don't know if age made it the way it is or this is how it kind of came out and kind of balanced out a little bit better with age but right now you know if you can get your hands on a 2012 one you owe it to yourself because it's just that beautiful so 92 overall value and availability availability i'm not going to rate it it's, you know we're talking about a almost three-year-old beer that i've never heard of before so if i did give it an availability i'd give it like a one i'd have to give a one um value i did pay you know a penny for it you know i paid 17 dollars for this bottle typically you're talking about um sam adams bigger bottles like this are typically coming in right around like your eight to nine dollar range so you're talking about a 10 percent premium but or not 10 percent, 10 dollar premium on it but you're talking about an aged beer of something i never saw before so i'm gonna I'll give it a value rating of a seven because it's a great beer and it's nothing. It's something I've never seen before. Probably might not ever see again, especially this age. So, yeah, really beautiful beer. Um, who should drink this beer? It's weird. I think people who love Belgian Golden or Belgian Triples would love this beer love this beer like almost like weep tears of joy over this beer 
yes, it's a barley wine. Yes, it's an American barley wine. But it's almost like a um, a subtly dry hopped Belgian triple. That's my gist on it. A high EBD, subtly high dry hopped Belgian triple with a dash of honey. That's what I'm getting from it. Um, if you want something, if you want to try a good beer and you think Sam Adams is poo-poo and you can get an age bottle of this, do it up. Or if you like good beer in general, you should get yourself a bottle. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, massive beers in all four of those places. Um, so yeah. Another review down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautiful beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>